If I was to ask you right now, who is the Word? Who is the Word? What would be your answer? Be God, right? The Word was God. How do you know that? The Bible says it, right? So who's the Word right now to you? Who did, who did Peter say that he was? He asked Peter, who do you say that I am? And he used I am. Who do you say that I am? Again, uh, he that believeth on me. Who is the he we're talking about? What about he that believeth on the name of the Son of God hath everlasting life? When he referring to himself, he, it, believing on he that sent me. Who is he that sent me? The Father sent him, of course. But If we're believing that, who is the Lord Jesus Christ to you right now? Right now. Who is the word to you right now? Can you answer that? Who is the word? If he is not the son of God, who is he? Of course he is God. He that believeth on he whom he had sent. Who is the word of God right now to you? The Bible is very clear that he that hath the son hath life. He that hath not the son hath not life. And they bear record, the father, the word, and the Holy Spirit. But who is the son of God if he's not the word too? The son of God without believing on the son of God you got yourself a big problem. Who is the word to you right now? Who is the word? Who is the Lord Jesus Christ to you? Who do you say that I am? Who do you say that I am? That clear up a lot of stuff right there. It's not that hard, guys. It's really not that hard. He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Meaning that the Son of God died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again. We're putting our trust on that Jesus, the Son of God. And then you're given eternal life. Until then, you do not have life. He that hath not the Son hath not life. Don't apply to anyone to you cash that ticket in, if that makes any sense. You must believe on the name of the Son of God and what he did for you, him and him alone, plus nothing else. Then your sins are forgiven. Then you have eternal life. The Bible's very clear about it. And the reason why we express and, and go out and try to tell people of the good news of the gospel it gives them a chance and the Bible says very clearly that they might have an escape man this is their escape from not going to hell and hell is eternal there's no getting around it the Lord Jesus Christ if it wasn't so important he would not have come to the cross gone to that cross and died for our sins and that's the only way our sins could be covered is that he had to do something about them and because that God is perpetuated and he did die for the whole world but it's that you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ then thou shalt be saved only then not until then not before not after not everybody that believes I mean calls me Lord Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven Man, you've got to put your faith on him all the way. It ain't by works man saved. Until you place your trust on the Lord Jesus Christ, you are dead in your sins. The blood of Christ does you no good because it's not mixed with faith. Until it's mixed with faith, meaning placing your trust, receiving what he did, as payment for your sin, you are still dead in your sins. 
and you must believe that he is the son of God. If you guys got a problem with that, it ain't, don't take it up with me. That's Bible, folks. He is the Son of God. He that believeth on the Son of God hath everlasting life. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son hath not life. Who do you say the Lord Jesus Christ is right now? Is he the Son of God or is he not? You've got to answer that, friend. I can't do that for you. And if he's the son right now, what does that make him? You got to answer that one too. I'm not going to argue with you folks. But I'll tell you something. That's the qualification. The, who is he right now? Who do you say that I am? Who, Like Peter said, I mean, thou art the son of God. The, I mean, the Christ, the, the living son of the son of God. Peter gave a great answer. Okay? Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Who do you say that he is? And what did uh, Jesus say? Flesh and blood did not reveal that to you. My Father in heaven did. Well, I don't want to continue on about this. There's no argument. There's no debate who the Lord Jesus Christ is. Get over yourselves, folks. I love you. But the Son of God is who he said he is, and he is eternal. He is the everlasting Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who came in the flesh and died for your sins, was buried and rose again. There's no getting around it. But you, I mean, if some of you guys are having trouble with that, I understand. But I am not going to call no one out. I love you. You're my brothers, my sisters, if you believe that he is right now the Son of God who died for your sins, was buried and rose again. I'm not going to go into debate with you over that. If you believe that, you're saved today. But I'm just telling you, man, these, these uh, who do you say the word is? He is God. Well, who is the God that came down and died for your sins? And who is he right now? Who is that God that died for your sins? Who is he? If he's the same yesterday and today, today forever, what's the confusion? I don't see it. He was the lamb slain before the foundations of the world, the Bible says. Well, but wait a minute. He's the word. He's the word. He wasn't that. Mm -mm. Oh, we can't go there. You see where it goes? You see what confusion it causes? There's no confusion of who the Lord Jesus Christ is. He's the word. He's the Son, everlasting Father, even the Bible says. But I believe there's Father, Son, Holy Spirit. There's ways that it's interpreted in context. We can't just pull things out because we don't understand them in the fullness of what they are. And we don't get eternity, our little feeble minds. We've got to accept who the Lord Jesus Christ says he is and quit playing these little word games. The word. <laughs> so speaking of that, who do you say the word is then? He was known as uh, the Lion of David. He's known as the King of Kings now. But he's the Son of God too. Always has been. I mean, what? I don't get it. Y'all fight much yourselves, but I love all you, you know. Um, don't, I want to get nothing stirred up, but let chips fall where they will, man. You know, I just believe what the Bible says about who he is. He's got a lot of names. A lot of names. He's the Christ. You know, God come in the flesh. You know, I mean, we can go on and on. I don't know. I think it just gets silly myself. But what do I know? But uh, God bless you. Preach the gospel so nobody goes to hell forever. Okay? Do that. Don't worry about all this other word games. Preach the gospel. Christ and him crucified. The Lord Jesus Christ that died on the cross, the Son of God, died for their sins. You preach that to them and was buried and rose again by putting their trust and placing that only on him. They are saved today, and you can assure them that they are. Amen? Amen. I'm going to leave it with that.